So I did it. I made a minimum of 15 B2B outreach cold calls today. And it, it revealed a, a, a lot of things to me. It showed me a lot of things. So this, this was something that I had imposed upon myself as a challenge, right? Something that I have never done before, something that I did to help myself grow, to overcome my limiting beliefs, and it did. It did work to accomplish that. So uh, I've never done B2B before. I only do, uh, so B2B is business to business, just so you know. What I do primarily, what I do period, is business to customer, which is B2C sales. And it's a completely different ballgame. When you call businesses, there's a very different way that they expect to be communicated with. It's a lot less of, oh, oh, so how are you doing today? It's a lot less of that and a lot more of, hmm, so the reason for the call is a lot more like that. So in doing these 15 B2B calls today, I did 18 by the way, I learned a lot. I learned, uh, I learned how to get over the apprehension, okay, that's massive. I learned what I need to improve on next, that's massive. And I began to start thinking long term by thinking about where I'm going, what direction I'm, I'm going in. And that's going to save me from needing to, that's going to save me from, from needing to think, think so small, just to think about like, oh my God, I'm nervous about this call. But if I think long term, if I keep putting on repeat my goals from yesterday, that helped me to, to make all my calls today. It helped me to push through. It helped me to stop thinking about myself and start thinking about others. So when I would have these issues, I would turn on my internal monologue. I would just put my broken record on, which is to repeat my goals, which is I am so excited and I've never felt so good to be easily becoming B2B inbound team by June 1st and will feel merry glee and achievement in reflection of the positive role model I have become for younger closers that need guidance. These are the people that make me better and I can't take them for granted. So whenever I had a moment where I paused or was apprehensive or thinking in my head, I just remembered them and that allowed me to start. And then starting, getting on the call, led to the next progression, the next thing where I became aware of something that I need to improve on. So the B2B, because it's so different from B2C, there, there are two, there are a couple of things, there, there are a couple of, of vows that I'm going to make for me to have accomplished by next video, by the next episode of Handmaid Chronicles, which is first, I need to have a buttery smooth intro. Okay, so hey, this is Bo with XYZ Company. And this is the this is the value pitch. Like this is the value that we offer. Who would be the best person to get in touch with about that? That is what I need to have buttery smooth by tomorrow. So tomorrow my goal is not going to be about making the calls. It's going to be about practice. It's going to be about making sure that when I get on the call, I'm not edgy, I'm not antsy. I'm just in a good position and a good frame of mind to share my value with this person, help them to understand who I am, why we should cooperate with each other, whether or not we have a future together. That's what I need to get good at. That's the next step. So basically the B2B process as a whole, I'm not good at, not like I am with B2C. So now I'm breaking it down into these parts. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to get really good at pitching the value of what I have. So tomorrow, it's all going to be about creating a great pitch, practicing it with my colleagues, and after that, I'm going to feel a lot more confident, way more confident about making these calls and knowing it's going to be moving towards a good result. So first thing, first improvement by tomorrow is I'm going to have a buttery smooth intro, okay? And second thing I want to accomplish is... Now that I have my goals, I want to create a recording of my goals, me repeating my goals on a recording so that I can have this be playing, this recording play throughout the day. If I'm going through for a walk, maybe if I'm sleeping or if I'm in the bathroom, I can always have my goals repeating to me 
and it is going to replace my internal monologue with thoughts of the future, thoughts of where I'm going, who I, who I need to be, thoughts of who I'm going to be, because I am going to accomplish my goals. So as long as I have myself reminding me of that, and I have an external reminder of that, in this case being that recording, as long as I have these reminders going on at all times, I'm never going to forget my purpose. I'm always going to be motivated and excited to jump on the phone. And I'm going to be able to push forward. So work on my skills, get a recording of my goals. And these things are going to have such a huge impact. I already know it. So thanks for checking in. This is the Hamming Chronicles episode three. And we'll see you tomorrow.